Okay, so today we're going to do just a simple, um, like a one stroke flower. A lot of people are asking me to go backwards a little bit, back to the um, just the basics of how we do these. So we're going to take our split cake here. This one is called Phoenix Fire. It's really pretty and uh, these colors glow on black light. It's really, really pretty. So we're going to take our, our one stroke brush, our flat brush. This is a three quarter um, brush by tag. Some people use a one inch brush. This is one inch across, but a lot of people will just use the three quarters. It's easier to work with. Um, you can dip your brush in water. Some people like to spritz their cake instead first, but whichever way works best for you. Um, if you dunk your, your brush in the water, first then make sure that you um, tap it off a little bit on your towel so that it doesn't run into your cake. So we're just going to get a good load on it. So we're going to go, we're going to push down so it spreads the bristles all the way across as much as possible, back and forth. Kind of get this loaded up really well. So you can see that it's loaded up on both sides of the of the brush. Okay, I'm doing this upside down here, so it's a little bit tricky. All right, so we're just going to start wherever your center point is for your flower. Set the bristles down. We're going to go up, pull it, and then come back down. Okay, do that again. Up, pull it, come back down. And see, as I'm mushing these kind of together, I'm making the colors blend a little bit instead of keeping them separate. You can do that. Let's see if I can make this more clear for you. This is actually really vibrant, but my white hair is, my light hair is pretty bright. All right, if you need to reload at some point, you can. Some people like to finish with the same um, load that they started with. Some people like to reload. So here, I started with the yellow on the background on the outside. So we can show you what the opposite looks like. Again, start in the middle, pull up, and back down. Pull up, and back down. Pull up, and back down. And you're always just gonna go right back to the center point here. Of course, you probably wouldn't do your flower half dark and half light, but this is just to show you how, how this works. Go over that just so the cut the flower is all the same ish color pretty simple huh it does take some practice doing these um, getting the strokes down when I first started doing these they were really bad now I usually do these I actually do them a lot faster when I paint on people um, it's a little bit easier than than just like right now talking through it so I'll, normally I would just go whoosh, 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 you do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you miss a spot, fill it in. Then you'll probably take a green or another color and you'll do your leaves. This, of course, they're not leaves, but this is just to show you where it go comes off of the center. I can take another paintbrush. And we can load it with, how about we do a flat brush here. This is just a um, half inch flat brush. I'm going to load up just a couple end colors on my cake here. This is our Xanadu cake. So on the end here I have a light green and a teal. And if you want to add some leaves, you know, pick a spot that's open, a little more open here. Um, I usually like my colors, my dark colors on the outside. So I'm going to lay my um, brush down and I'm just going to wiggle it up to a point. And then if you want to make them thicker, you lay your brush down on the opposite side. Oops. Again with a dark color and wiggle it to that same point. And there's your leaf. There's all kinds of different ways to do them. This is just the basic leaf. You can also, if you'd like, you can do, um, you can come in like these, like this with your leaves. They don't have to be the traditional um, diamond shape here. It's whatever, whatever makes you happy. All right. Well, that is the, my, yeah, let's see, you know what else we can do here? Sorry for the ramble. You never fin leave a flower just plain. You can do, I like to put little polka dots in the center. Gives a little bit of texture. Um, you can do a couple around the edges if you'd like. I love polka dots. They make everything look so much better. Well, I think they do. <laughs>
Then again, I put glitter on everything too. Um, I've noticed though, when you put glitter on your designs, if you go to photograph them afterwards, glitter does not show up 